Greetings again and welcome. One theme that will be recurring in your exploration of the good things about Japan is the legacy of the warrior. But in Japan, it's not just the warrior who fights his outward enemies to achieve some worldly end, you see. In Japan, the samurai must also fight inward enemies. And in fact, it is the inner struggle that is included in the philosophy of the warrior class, an art that's considered a martial art known as now jujitsu. Now, the interesting thing about jujitsu is that unlike the Western style, where there's good and evil, and the hero is good, and the villain is evil, and the hero vanquishes the evil villain, jujitsu is based off of a philosophy where there must be loving compassion toward even the enemy. That is to say that not only does jiu-jitsu use the momentum of one's attack to subdue the enemy, but then it also takes the extra step of caring to make sure that if there's any injury encountered during that battle, that that is also healed. Very shortly, you will witness the mastery of Masters Okuyama-san and Master Joe Miller. Now, these are two masters of the Hakori School of Jiu-Jitsu. We will visit their dojo and we will be instructed by them just how they employ this philosophy, which I like to look at as fighting with patience. <laughs> Justice, nice to meeting you. Nice meeting you as well. Pleasure. Thanks for coming to help us out. Thank you. My pleasure, sir. So I wanted to start off just to know a little bit more about those three principles upon which this school of Jiu-Jitsu is based. Yeah. Our school of Hakuri is based on three principles that show that I uh, invented in my No challenge. You don't challenge the technique. Uh, no resistance. You don't resist the opponent. And uh, based on those two, the outcome is no injury to the assailant. Mm -hmm. No challenge, no resistance, resistance no, no injury. injury. That's correct. Okay, and you're going to show us today how those three principles apply. I sure will. Not a problem. All right, thank you very much. You're very welcome, Let's Justin. Do it. Let's do it. So, Justin, as I was explaining to you about the three concepts with Hakuryu based on no challenge, no resistance, no injury, we take a, uh, we take a technique, a waza like Hakodori. It's just a basic technique where somebody grabs your, your wrist and just gently, without any resistance, just escape from it. And of course, I'm not challenging him at the same time. So you have no challenge, no resistance, no injury to the student. But that's in the dojo. Now on the street, it's a different story, Justin. Now, too many people are not going to grab your wrist. They might grab you here. So that's when you come in. So you execute it. Hakodori, and then you kick with an elbow to the to the mid sternum, and then you came down and you kind of straight down. So that keyhole now becomes a goshin jitsu, a self defense technique. Now let's start let's start with the first technique that we're going to demonstrate. And I'm going to demonstrate four techniques based on Shodai Okiyama, who was my teacher, the founder of this system. And later on, Waka Sensei, which is the third generation founder of Hakodori, he's going to come and show you how. It's been manipulated a little bit, so therefore, uh, not so much injury is going to happen to the student because back then in 1941, it was a different story that the techniques had to be for survival. But let's take the first technique, it's called Ushida Zamotoshi, the rear bear hug. And this concept, when somebody grabs you in the rear bear hug, you can't wait on the street, but I'm going to show you how it is 
you're just relaxing and you start your motion, okay? So now again, so now he grabs you again. Now he's down, now you have him right there. He's not going anywhere, okay, good. So that's the first one. Now Waka Sensei is gonna show you later on how that's executed in today's uh, system. Okay, now the second technique is a knee down muscle. You should have touch Mitsubishi. You come along the side, and you drop, you know, you break me out. Now, this technique is very, very subtle. When somebody grabs you this way, uh, on the street, we apply Mitsubishi, which is Ateme, also called, known as Ateme. But here, he's gonna keep pulling. As he's pulling, you're sliding the arm around, and now the pinky is right by what we call Shinke, the Shinke line, the heart line. It's based on the, the concepts of uh, Koho Shiatsu. And then we just drop the elbow and break the, and break the arm. Now, if he resists, we just keep moving him down. Okay. That's the second one. The third one, Tekarame. Up, down, and now we're going to apply the Gakun to the heart meridian. So, now in this sequence, this technique is actually done in Seiva. Now, okay, and it's done basically this way, and that's it. But in the old days, it was based on cutting and then double cutting, so it's much danger to the body. Okay. And the last one, the young guy one, is Yokomi and Uchi do the Ramas punch. Rocking and breaking down and then applying the lock. Yeah. Now, how does that work on the street? Well. Not too many people are going to punch you with a roundhouse punch, okay? They're going to come, they're going to come in straight. But they're coming in straight. Now we modify the technique to bring him down and do what we have to do without injury. So those, those four techniques, based on the three concepts of no challenge, no resistance, no injury, is what Waka Sensei is going to show you in now today, how could you, how it's executed. Thank you. First, I want to introduce you to uh, Waka Sensei, mm -hmm. uh, Takashi Okuyama, who is going to the future Sandai Soke, third generation, mm -hmm. and Takashi Okuyama. And Waka Sensei is going to demonstrate four techniques uh, Tekagami, Muneo Sayadori, uh, Tekagami Shodan, Muneo Sayadori, uh, Nidan, Imondori, Sandan, and Uchikomi Dori, Yongan. Now, these four techniques are much different than what I did. The four techniques that I did were based on Shodai's way of application to the self-defense portion. Waka Sensei now will demonstrate four techniques, more subtle techniques used today in Hakuryu you today, based on the same principles of no challenge, no resistance, no injury. It's been a pleasure, and we'll see Waka Sensei in action now. Number one, no challenge. Number two, no resistance. And therefore, number three, no injury. If there's anything that you remember from what we've just learned in that experience, it should be those three principles from Master Shiva. And I can assure you that that's just one example of the philosophy of Japanese people as they live it. And I can assure you that it is at least a pleasant alternative to the Western idea of 
good beating evil. Perhaps you're beginning to understand that even at first glance, it may seem that Japanese people simply don't fight. No, this is not true. They fight, but they fight with patience. Now, this is something you can partially experience by visiting good things about Japan. But this is not something that you can wholly know until you visit Japan yourself. And so I hope that you do.